How's it going, everybody? We're gonna be back into Doki Doki Literature Club, I guess. Um, we'll continue where I left off at, which is before I read the poem, I think. Uh, you can use the skip button to fast forward. I don't remember what I've seen. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sari will still trots away to receive her poem. Her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? No. Yeah, I did. <laughs> My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. This man's getting way too relatable. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Uh, Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems! Sayori's on wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting. From where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as reaching into their, their bags. I do the same myself. Uh oh. We'll go with the shy girl, Hinata. <laughs> I, th I think I remember her, right? Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her op opinion, to be fair. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. I don't even know what I made. Can I know what I made? A minute passes more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh! So sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. Dude, I'm not even. I'm not even pronouncing words right because they have apostrophes, commas, and all that nonsense. I'm supposed to pause for a minute or something. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Err, uh, yeah. Hold up. I need to fact check this. What? So we're in high school. And I've never wrote a poem before. Why did you ask? Why do you ask? Uh, I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Yeah, I kind of just slapped a bunch of words together, if I think so. Fucking family, joy, happy, death, horror. Ah, so it's that bad. <laughs> no! <laughs> Did you just raise... <laughs> Did I just raise my voice? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You bruise her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very de- Oh my, more big words. Deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. 
Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. That might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki could be a bit bra- I uh, was <laughs> gonna read that as based! Based on what? <laughs> Biased though? Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing for to herself or to me or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Uh oh, I didn't get to read that. Which item, which, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature quote? Ghost under the light, the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining sheet light to have withstood the, la the test of time, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue green hue of the future I bathed. Why is there a period? Calms breathing air of the present, by li but living in the past, the light f flickens. I flicker back. I I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking of that at all. But it took you a long time to read it. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. As a matter of fact, I don't know how to read. I'm very illiterate. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh, that's a relief. Also, I like that poem. I like that. I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Oh, you, what? You get spicy? Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Hugh, Hugh? <laughs> what does that mean? What does that even pronounce? Hugh, Hugh? <laughs> or, huh, huh? Or is the first H silent and it's, uh, huh? Actually, the, short, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Grayson. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. But remember, that poets often express their own thoughts and feelings and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolical compared to a ghost. Lingering in, her last, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left without with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. All right. Sayori! We're going to this one. The adorable one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. <laughs> He's going ham. <laughs> Sorry, I got sidetracked. This is so good, Grayson. You're over exaggerating. Eh? I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori. You must be seriously over I just said that. 
I'm not a good writer at all. That's that's what I be saying. <laughs> I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. You're just carefree in a dunce. And that's adorable. <laughs> Jeez. Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh. Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of peop other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Grayson poem. She is f absolutely adorable. This person must be protected at all times. Holy Cross or whatever. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I gotta figure out how to... I gotta figure out how not to do the pitch when I do that, though. It, I don't know why. I just cut... <laughs> do a Seth Rogen. <laughs> Can't even do Seth Rogen, dude. <laughs> I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room? Question mark? Er, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Grayson. Deep down, you're not as selfish as you know. At all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. All right, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad. <laughs> She's adorable. We'll see about that, all right. Perfect handwriting, cute. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Making me rub the sleep from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it isn't, if it, if it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Adorable! Absolutely adorable! Say, Sayori, this is just a guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? No! Just, just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Oh my... Don't be mean. I still try my best. Ah, oh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that. It was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? If you don't say cute... Disappointment. It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school, it's bad to skip breakfast. Breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. This was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. 
Who should I, who should I show my poem to next? I gotta think on this one. This is a tough one. I don't like Monica, and I don't like Natsuki. Natsuki is really rude to me, so I'm gonna do Monica. We'll do Monica. Hi, Grayson. Having a good time so far? Why does your face just never really change? Ah, oh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we could do to better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't worry, Grayson. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? What is that sort of barrier that we'll learn? We'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sort of things in common. Ah, well, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case, but maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you, it sounds like the two of you are really care about each other's well-being. Even you show it in different ways. It ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? Ah! I, I'm giving her the Spongebob, like, half-assed laugh, and I, <laughs> I could be. Oh, gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's writing has kind of... But in any case, Sayori's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. There we go. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things, too? Yeah, that's totally expect unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you wouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit, either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel com comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best... <laughs> That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased toward their own kinds of style. Oh, I can hit the space bar? I don't need a stupid mouse. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. Not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? You didn't even read mine, I think. Oh. You, should, you sound pretty confident that's for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I, I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Oh, she's got a, she's got a hefty one. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protr protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend, I'll never know. It wasn't, I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late, my retinas are already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. 
it's just a little hole it wasn't too bright it wasn't too deep it was too deep stretching forever and everything a hole of infinite choices i realized now that i wasn't looking in i was looking out and he on the other side was looking in oh, i could have scrolled too interesting so what do you think it's very freeform if that's what you call it sorry i'm not really the right person to ask for feedback <laughs> it's okay kind of force that out of me <laughs> yeah that kind of style has gotten pro pretty popular nowadays that is a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between worlds and lines when performed out loud it can be really powerful what was the inspiration behind this one ah well i'm not sure if i know how to put it i guess you could say that i had some kind of epiphany recently it's been influencing my poems a bit an epiphany yeah something like that i'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly maybe after uh, everyone is better friends with each other anyway here's monica's writing tip of the day sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story your brain gets too fixated on the specific point if you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. And another way to think of it is a boot. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. That's for th Thanks for listening. Now this girl. Already do a great start. The stairs. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's not a little blunt. Well, excuse me. Not like I said it was bad. It didn't even evoke many emotions. So basically it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. Sigh. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Now that I will, you'll like it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. It was all right. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Game changer, my 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 comments. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people who, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't that, isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it, I, I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like the, in this poem. See, everyone around you do great things can really be disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the n other nice thing about simple writing is, that it puts more weight on the wordplay. I like, like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what I, that's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. 
Oh man, I feel the same. I feel the same. Oh man. Do a big long stretch. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice. There's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. Sigh, I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sari and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow with frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh. You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it, which people did, by the way. Sarah he liked it and Grayson did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of, of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. And Grayson liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh no. Oh. Why did the music stop? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh. That's not what I. Uh. You're just. Yuri just stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Grace should appreciate. Grayson appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? How do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Uh, no. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh, uh, um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one who's boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Grayson started showing up. <laughs> what is going on? Not Natsuki. Oh, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I, I don't like fighting guys. <laughs> Suddenly both girls turned towards me as if I, they just noticed I was standing there. Gr Grayson, <laughs> Grayson. She, she starts trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning would should jump out of the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Grayson. Wait, wait. There's a reason we have so many deep expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only necessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Grayson? Um, well... How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whomever I agree with, they'll probably, like, think more highly of me. Oh, no. Help me, Sayori! <laughs> Natsuki! Sorry, it's dead. 
I turned to Yuri. Yuri. Uh, but Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I, I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori! <laughs> eh? Yeah. Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Grayson. Well, that's her problem. This isn't even about her. I, I agree. It's fair for others to inject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what stuck-up jerk she is, she is. She would never. It's your immaturity that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why... Exactly why nobody likes... Stop! Stop! Silence. Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems, they're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint a beautiful picture. They paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are you, or why are we fighting? B because, well, also, Natsuki's cute, and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. Sayori. <laughs> Sayori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sayori is vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing to me. <laughs> nah, it's not like I bl can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't it? Isn't she? You can say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take care. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see herself get see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knot. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Oh yeah, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Grayson, how did, How about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you'll learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. They probably won't. I think to myself, I did learn a little bit, a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Grayson, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, about what happened earlier. Eh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that meet kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've ever seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You... You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Grayson, 
It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. Let's just say crib. <laughs> but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's it. <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Sigh. It looks like Sari has, still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Yo. We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. All right, we're making another one. Kawaii. Anime. Philosophy. Hopeless. Happiness. Tragedy. Chocolate. Doki Doki. Captive. Embrace. Sensation. Heart. Fireworks. Unrestrained. Eternity. Lollipop. I'm trying to balance it. I'm trying to balance it. Romance. Judgment. Marriage. And... Ribbon. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a lot, uh, I've gotten a little more comfortable here even though, even the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi Grayson. Yo Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in the good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh? That's, that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh? Why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just want to look at it. Eh. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets, lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins followed. <laughs> I knew it. I could see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have just, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. It's cute. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that only leaves the one option. Ewe. <laughs> Ewee. I give, I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. That wasn't a giggle. Eh. I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Uh, I wasn't. I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri, tell Grayson to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. Oh no, I clicked the wrong thing. Return. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough for retribution. Ah! Did I just... I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed in on my book. Uh -uh. <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's the fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the, resol the revolution. The what revolution? Retribution. <laughs> that. Still coming from you, Sayori. 
I guess there's a little devil inside of us all, isn't there? Hey, hey, hey. Don't let her fool you. Sari knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before. She even told me. But, but you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow. What was that? Eh? A, a cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. <laughs> Get smacked with a cookie. Sayori glances around. Is, is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution. <laughs> She's so cute. Retribution. <laughs> Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction though. <laughs> Natsuki, that's no, that's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori rapidly tears up with the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. Mm. Sayori suddenly clasps her hands around over her mouth. I bit my tongue. <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. And yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Saria gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. <laughs> Jeez. I get it. I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Um. Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite of. <laughs> out of Natsuki's cookie. Hey, hey. <laughs> Did you seriously just do that? Uh huh. Well, full Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica can tell you. Can you tell Sayori? Uh uh. Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Huh. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. She's pretty unpopular after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than uh, all of us combined. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me? Suddenly the door swings open. <laughs> Sayori, I'm... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm half... I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. But my boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. I n never mind that. What held you up anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. And to be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Uh, that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must that's what were you doing what were you doing Monica I must not have heard it have heard it since I was practicing piano piano I wasn't aware you played music at all as well Monica I don't really kind of I kind of just started recently I've always wanted to learn piano that's so cool you should play something for us Monica that's Monica looks at me. Maybe once a little. Once. Maybe once I get a little better. A bit better. I will. Yay. That sounds cool. That sounds aight. That sounds. That sounds fresh. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case. I will 
let you, I won't let you down, Grayson. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I'd really love chance love the chance to share some once I am ready. Really? I mean I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not not really. I choose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished with her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her notebook. <laughs> Yuri is back to her book, and Natsuki disappeared into the de into the closet. Grayson, Grayson, Sayori suddenly comes up to me. I'm gonna, g <laughs> I'm gonna go get some supplies from another classroom. You gonna come with me? Supplies? Before? Well, you know how the festival is coming up. Me and Monica were gonna make some posters and stuff. So I need to go find some crayons and markers and glue sticks. Ah, I see. Sure, I'll go with you. Yay! Okay, Monica, we'll be back soon. Ah, are you going with Grayson to get some of the supplies? There's no need to trouble yourself. I'd be happy to go with him. Ah, uh, but I wanted to go. Well, I'm going to end this video here. And you guys, take it easy.